And so it's early in the morning here, about 8.30, and we are at the park trying to beat the heat. It's already in the 70s, but it, it's nice and kind of breezy. But one thing I wanted to talk about was just surplus space with living as a minimalist because the house we have now definitely is bigger than I would say my ideal for function is and with that I have a lot of empty shelves and empty spaces so I know there's some concept that's called like the container concept I think it's um, a slob comes clean Dana White's book where she says that whatever the size of the container, you'll match that or you that's your limit. And my husband and I always joke about the fishbowl concept where whatever size your fishbowl is, you're going to fill it and live to that or get rid of the amount of things you need to in order to fill it fully, even if it's a small fishbowl. So with that in mind, we definitely have a larger fishbowl than we've been living in with smaller apartments the last few years. and traveling a lot and things like that so it's interesting because I find myself trying to be critical but also being less strict with it because I have the space and I realized one of the methods I do is I use a lot of the extra shelving and stuff kind of as a decorative space so because I have a lot of paintings as an artist I will fill the shelves with paintings instead or Sometimes with sentimental knickknacks, but sometimes non-sentimental knickknacks, and then I find myself not really wanting that to be there or finding it really cluttered. So it's just interesting because we have so much extra space, and it is nice, but it also feels like a to-do list of something I need to fill, um, I'd say implicitly. So it is interesting, and especially with like clothing space and I'll show you in a little bit but my or our bedroom we kind of rearranged and shifted from just the conventional four drawer dresser to nightstands as our dresser so we had a little bit more space and just walking room and just to make it a little bit more peaceful and cohesive as far as an aesthetic goes in there and we hadn't really purchased anything for that room anyway so I really wanted it to just be as streamlined and peaceful and functional for clothing as we possibly could and we still have ample closet space to hang things so it is interesting just seeing how you adjust to a larger space when you have less things and when you think critically about the things you bring in but I do find myself more easily filling up shelves and spaces especially with kind of stockpiling since we live in a rural place we do buy a lot of things in bulk and then just have to store them. So it does come in handy, but I'm sure compared to most, we have a pretty limited space environment, but it feels very extensive to me. Anyway, we're gonna continue this park play date and see how the rest of the day goes. I'm reading this book again, probably for the third time. I read it almost every time I'm pregnant. And it just has a really good amount of stories about tribal societies and how they do pregnancy and birth and raising babies. This is the before shots, pretty much overflowing with clothes. 
that have really added up quickly. So to do my suns, I'm just gonna go through first and like set aside the underwear that everything pretty much fits in that category. I'll leave the swimsuit out in case there's one or two more events. And then make sure everything's just in the correct size for this and the upcoming season. And anything that's not, that's on its way out like this, I decide this is one of his favorites, but it is much too small for him already. So normally I'd either pass this on to my daughter or I will probably, or I'll sell it if it's a little bit higher quality item, or I will donate or give away to a friend. So we kind of have a couple different piles we're working with here. Some of the stuff I need him to try on like this and see if it still fits him. I think that's kind of on the edge and then we'll go from there. And the next step is I have this big bag, one for each kid. That is all the upcoming clothes that they do not fit into yet or that is the next season they will fit into. And then I'll go through this, which I organize every season or so and pull out the things that are gonna fit them. So these are for next year. There's some things for the summer season next year that were too big this year, but I'll pull out some long sleeve shirts and a few sweatshirts. Lots of stuff in here he has. But a lot of this will be for the next season. And so here we have like a cute sweater I thrifted for him. It'll be a little bit on the fancier side. So we'll see where we're at. We have two pairs of shorts, two pairs of pants. He's wearing one pair of shorts, one casual, one more formal sweater, two collared shirts, probably like five long sleeve shirts that'll end up being his winter wardrobe. It's probably six or so pair of underwear, two pairs of socks, a swimsuit, and four short sleeve shirts. So this will be our transition summer to fall. So now I just kind of have the warmer stuff in the bottom level. So his underwear and his short sleeve shirts, nice short sleeve shirts, swimsuit, shorts. And then in the top level, I have the cooler weather sweatshirts, pants, and long sleeve shirts. So then for my daughter's stuff, she actually has a lot of stuff that she's outgrown that would be perfect for this time, but that's just how it goes. And some of it I think we'll save to go on to the next kid, not knowing if this is a boy or girl, I'll just be, most of it's pretty neutral anyway, so I'll just keep that stuff. But I did find two pairs of pants of my son's that I'll add to his top drawer over here. But for the most part, we will see how a lot of this is fitting and then I might have to do an order of a few things, maybe like a large sweater or two. And probably that's when I will order kind of some baby stuff too. So I'll put that all in right before the cold kind of hits is when I would think. She's a little more sparse, but this is her socks and her training undies and bloomers and some suit stuff. Then she has three pairs of pants, two sweaters. This one's a little chunkier than this lighter sweatshirt style. Two nice dresses that are short sleeve but longer so we can add a layer under or over. This is a long pants kind of jumpsuit thing with short sleeves that we can layer. And it is a little big for her, but it's definitely time to pull it out. A onesie that will be going away when the hot weather does die down. A short sleeve romper and a pair of shorts, long sleeve shirt, short sleeve shirt. She has another jumpsuit that is in the laundry right now. And then there's two sweatshirts she has that I need to see if they fit her. I think this one does not. And I think we could make this one do. 
but otherwise I will be buying another couple long sleeve shirts I think for hers as the weather cools down. And same concept here, cool clothes for warmer climate down here in her dresses. And then the cooler stuff, the sweatshirts, long sleeves, pants, and et cetera in the top drawer for now. And for the fall days that are a bit colder, my son has this corduroy coat, this sweatshirt. My daughter has this corduroy coat with a hood and some Sherpa inside. So if it gets pretty chilly, that's what we'll use. that are also our dresser now and this new bench where we just put the projector right here and plug it in and then it shoots up on the wall and we take the painting down for the time being. Other than that, not too many changes and probably not going to be too many more changes from this point forward. One thing that will be different is we are going to be taking these shade things off and putting blackout up-down blinds on, but that will be in a few months. in progress but definitely getting somewhere <laughs> 